Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here, back with another video. I know it's been quite a while. Happy 2024, we're playing Clash Royale. I know this is probably a big surprise. If you're watching this, big shout out, because I know a lot of people might not be. Um, just because it's a Clash Royale video, I've been doing Clash of Clans for such a long time on the channel. Um, but this is just kind of a casual video. Um, I've been playing Clash Royale a little bit here and there, um, so. Maybe people unsubscribe because of this, but I thought it would be nice to get a, a video back out. Um, it's just kind of a fun game. I'm a bit sick today. Didn't have much to do, so I thought let's whip out the, uh, the Clash Royale, play a little bit in this uh, challenge tournament, and see what we can do here. Um, so the game has already started, guys, and I'm going to see what I can do against this um, Goblin Giant deck we're going against. So far, um, looks like this is going to be one of the tougher decks. I'm running a Hog, um, kind of a, a mid, mid Elixir amount Hog deck, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, you guys can see my progress in the challenge uh, once I uh, finish this this matchup. But we're going to throw the um, Mega Knight in the back there. Looks like he's got a Sparky charging up. We got the Lightning, which is a good a good counter, a good way to discharge it. So if he throws down another card, we might also get one more. Um, nope. Okay. So the the Sparky was damaged quite a bit, which is good. The Mega Knight's gonna fall, but I think a Dark Goblin should be enough to take out the remainder of that Sparky. Uh, get the log going on the left there. Take out that little attempt and see if we can survive. Yes, that Dark Goblin um, making its way through, but it goes down to a log. Um, but yeah, guys, Happy New Year. Um, big shout out if you're still watching this video because I know there's probably a lot of people that forgot they had subscribed um, and are like, wow, this is not the game that I thought this channel was making content for. I'd like to get back into Clash of Clans, to be honest, guys. Um, but it's just, it seems like it's a bit difficult with how um, everything has become so uh, the, the levels just keep increasing so quickly they have added so much new stuff it's just hard to keep up unless you're just on the game all the time and uh, for me that, that wasn't the case the last year or so um, but I, I, I find that Clash Royale is easier to get into um, a bit more casually which is which is nice and that's allowing me to make this video here Ready for that Tesla? We need to get a hog hit on that tower. We really need one. Ah, okay. We are winning this game technically, but I this is going to start to grind me down. If he puts a Sparky behind that, we're a little bit low on Elixir. That Goblin Giant has been putting in some work on us. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, we're going to throw down. Ah, yeah, the minions are going to die to that. Um, waste of three Elixir. Guys, this is not looking too great. Um... Let's see what we can do here. Throw down a log to try to weaken. Uh, okay. Gonna have to try to pull with the Tesla here, get both towers locked on. Um, that's gonna be important. We got a minute 30 in overtime. Um, yeah, throw down the Mega Knight. Fireball come in. We really need a big push here, guys. Uh, get the hog, get the lightning. Good discharge. Um, yeah, that was clutch. Okay. Log going in. Guys, we might just be able to pull this one out here. Come on, get that Tesla down. I think we got it. Wow. Okay, that was a clutch Mega Knight. Um, everything went right. We had the log coming in. Uh, we took down his Goblin Gang. Close one. We'll take it. Um, go ahead and... Keep moving on here, guys. You can see we have one loss, two wins now. Who knows? Maybe this will be a long video. We can go all the way, get the 12 wins. Um, but yeah, let's hop right into it. You guys have seen the deck now. You know what we're running. Um, and it's pretty versatile, I would say. You can use the, um, the Mega Knight. I, I used to use a Valkyrie, but the Mega Knight really has that extra ability to really store some firepower by putting it in the back and letting you really build up an attack which I didn't have before. Balloons are tricky for this deck. I gotta say guys, this is the one type of deck that I really struggle with and that balloon's gonna get at least one hit on me, uh, which is not good. Try to prevent the second hit. I think it got two. But the Mega Knight got home. That is, um, that's a nice 
uh, a nice condolence there. We're about even in damage. He has a slight lead. Um, this is, might be a two tower game at this rate. Log goes down, taking out the Dark Goblin. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. Usually I try to push the hog as much as possible, just kind of keep that damage, um, especially if he doesn't have a tower to, um, or like a building to draw that hog with. Yeah, I mean, this is a Lava Hound deck. You got to be really aggressive with the Lava Hound decks, I've found. Um, we'll go ahead and throw down some minions. They'll take out the guards and start to do some work on the Lava Hound. Um, I don't really know what else to play here. Play the Mega Knight. It'll take down the... Uh, the jackhammer guy at least, and then we can get down, I don't even think we need to play the Tesla honestly, let's just play a, the mini P.E.K.K.A. We'll take a little bit of damage on the tower, but I think we can counter him pretty well, and yeah, he doesn't have a response for this, guys. Um, we are in some good shape here, I'd say, um, even moving towards the uh, the king tower there, and I'm going to get a few hits with the mini P.E.K.K.A., probably not enough to pursue the full three crown, we should probably just go for the other tower, or maybe just try to defend here, but that's kind of the gambit you play is if you try to defend the Lava Hound, often it's not, uh, it doesn't make sense. You're better off just attacking another tower because um, it's a hard a hard card to defend against. Um, go ahead and throw down some minions. If he has like a fireball or something, he could get some good value, but looks like not. Um, good defense there. If we can keep that up, I think we'll be sailing to our second victory of this um, game or of this video. Inferno Dragon, interesting. I think the Dark Goblin is enough to counter it. Yes, it is. Um, it doesn't even get much on the tower there. And we'll take some damage from the guards. Just play a mini P.E.K.K.A. in the back here and let that build up and develop. Um, let's see, he's putting down a little bit something extra here. Go ahead and get the log down. That balloon is going to make it pretty much untouched to the tower, which isn't great. He has a good counter. Ah, this is going to be a two tower game, guys. Couldn't quite hold off the uh, the attack there, but I think we get this Mega Knight down. If it can get in front, okay, well he plays the log anyway. But I think the Mega Knight's going to be the key here. Really just pushing ourselves through. Uh, that hog is locked on. It's only going to get one hit. Let's see. Um, play that, play that. Dark Goblin, log. Yeah, that balloon's been getting home way too easily. Don't get a hit. Ah, I got a hit. Yeah, he's going to play the log, I think, to take down my Dark Goblin, sure enough. Play the hog in the pocket there. Get a few hits, not bad. But re we really got to defend this balloon a lot better, guys. We haven't been doing it. Good Mega Knight, perfect value. And the Tesla's going to pull that to the King Tower. Good stuff there. Um, let's see. Going to go with the Mini Pekka behind here. And a log. The log was not needed. Um, come on, get a hit, Mini Pekka. Nope, the bats are too good. Okay, guys, we are in quite a game here. I'm going to play the hog up here. It's going to pull a bunch of stuff. We got the Mega Knight ready to take all that out. Uh, I'm going to get some good value from this Mega Knight, probably. Ah, I shouldn't have taken those hits. Once again, we're going to pull the balloon here. Um, it's a good idea. He's got a log, but that can't do very much damage to the King Tower, fortunately. We do have the lightning for when we need it. Going to play the mini P.E.K.K.A. in the back, try to build something up here. Go ahead and play the log, take all that out. Um, I think we're going to play our lightning here. This is some good value. Um, this should draw the balloon. Yes, indeed. If we can get one more lightning cycle, we might have a shot at this, guys. It's going to be close. See if we can get it with the hog here. Log and hog. Uh, I think we got it. Give me the lightning. Minions almost did it themselves. Wow, we're having some close games, guys. Whew. Good stuff. This might be a long video. Let's let it keep going. I'm going to move the microphone back a little bit. Uh, too bad I don't have any water or anything. <clears throat> Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments if you uh, play Clash Royale at all. Maybe you found this because you're a, a subscriber from back in the day during some of my Clash of Clans videos. Maybe you're a new viewer who is who's interested in the Clash Royale content. Not sure it's going to be a regular thing, but like I said, had some extra time and thought, you know, let's put a, a video up um, of a of a Clash-related game that I've been playing just a little bit in my free time. Like I said. 
Uh, if you can't tell already, I'm not any type of professional player at this. Um, Clash of Clans was definitely my peak. But, you know, I've been able to get some wins here, and we're going to see how far we can get in this challenge. Uh, looks like he's going with the, the minor deck, which I have mixed results against miners. It depends on the details of the deck, but the bomb tower is often a bit of a challenge for me. I think we can sneak this hog in without it going to the bomb tower, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there we go. Um, yeah, he's really going to play a lot of stuff trying to, to defend that. Um, we'll go ahead and play the log, take out all that little stuff there. Um, good damage. We're down to 23 on his, on his, uh, what's it, the, the crown tower or whatever. Um, he has 27 on my left side, so a bit of a lead here. He's going to keep chipping away with the miner. We might have this situation where he's attacking my left tower, I'm attacking his right tower, which isn't the best. It's, I think that favors him a bit more, honestly. Um, but we can adjust if needed. For now, I'm going to continue to to go at um, his right side just because I already have about 700 damage so I, I want to take advantage of that. We got the Mega Knight down that's a pretty strong uh, build up of Elixir so I think we have a good push coming here. We got the Lightning if you play something else otherwise we're just going to play the Dark Goblin to, to keep getting some damage down. It'll take those goblins out. There's the log. People using the log so much these days. Um, it really makes it sad trying to use a, uh, <laughs> a Dark Goblin sometimes, but the Dark Goblin can get some sneaky damage as well. Um, there's the Bomb Tower. We're ready for it with the Lightning. The Bomb does do some damage, which is unfortunate right there, but we still got two hits, not to mention uh, the, uh, the Lightning spell hit, so that's all good. Um, and we got the Log damage as well, so if we can keep these pushes up, I think we're in pretty good shape. We're going to keep using that mini P.E.K.K.A. to defend the Miner. Um, the Poison, you know, he's putting a lot of Elixir. It's 7 Elixir for him to do that attack. I'm only using 4 to defend. Now, granted, he is getting a couple hundred each time. Um, but if I can keep it up with the Lightning-Hog combination, I think we have a strong case. This is the Dark Goblin we need. Going to help uh, prevent any further damage there. Um, this is a weird use of the Poison spell. Uh, we were ready for that. Come on, lightning. Ah, the lightning didn't reach. Yeah, that's unfortunate, and he's emoting me for it. Um, go ahead and play that. Um, yeah, he's really mixing up the location of that miner. We're going to do a little sneaky dark goblin. I don't think he's ready for it. Let's see if he can defend it in time. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. He's got those, uh, those quick hands, so... We're still leading, but we need like one more hog push. Let's see if he's gonna get that bomb tower in the right spot to pull the hog. It is gonna pull the hog. Uh, there's the predictive log, and we're one lightning spell away from a win here, guys. I didn't even see that miner, um, so we're a little bit late to the party, but really he has to do another thousand damage before I play one more lightning spell, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, not sure he's gonna be able to do much more. I'm gonna play a Tesla there just to defend and the mini P.E.K.K.A even getting a shot off. Um, but I think this one's pretty much over. Yeah, he's trying to put all this stuff down knowing that the lightning spell is coming, but we wait a little bit longer the, um, and I think it would have targeted the tower anyway. It had still a couple hundred hit points. The lightning, of course, targets the um, whatever is there that has the most uh, hit points. So, guys, I need to record more. We got three wins just like that. Um, let's keep the train going. Uh, hopefully it's not too much for my uh, my iPad and my computer to record this long of a video. We're going at almost 15 minutes now, uh, but hope you're enjoying. Uh, like I said, hope 2024 is going to be a good year for you, and hope you had a good New Year's uh, if you were celebrating last night. Um, like I said, I was a bit feverish last night, didn't really do much. Um, but feeling a bit better today and recording the video. We might have to do a little part one, part two, guys. I'm thinking, especially if this is a win, we might have uh, a lot left to go in this classic challenge. Um, the reason I play, let me cancel this and get uh, another game. The reason I like playing the classic challenge is because uh, it's uh, it evens out the level of all the cards. So I don't have all my cards leveled up, but if you just pay 10 gems, everything's the standard like level 11 which it really, you know, levels the playing field, which I like, so. And that's one of my biggest objections to kind of how, how look, he pushed the mini peck into the tower. That's tragic for him. Oh, <laughs> I got a lot of damage, too. 
Um, yeah, I thought he might have this deck. I've been seeing this deck a bit too lately as I've been been playing here and there. We're going to go ahead and throw down um, some minions. He's going to get a decent amount of damage just because, you know, the uh, electric giant thing uh, is pretty, pretty tanky and took a while to get taken out. Um, lost my train of thought there. But anyway, um, this deck I have been seeing a lot and it, it does give me some, some trouble sometimes, but I'm confident that, you know, we can, with already having taken down about half of this tower, we're in pretty good shape here. And it's, it's strange he's now going on the other side. I'm not sure what that's about. Let's get the hog down. Um, he's just playing some random cards, it seems like, uh, here and there. Okay, well, that's a bit unfortunate. His <laughs> The uh, tornado is definitely a, a solid counter to the hog pulling it into the king tower. Um, here comes the bowler. He had that mishap at the beginning of the game, but it looks like that won't be the same thing. But ah, I was hoping we'd get one hit at least. Oh well. Okay. Dark goblin down. Um, I'm going to play the mega knight to try to protect the dark goblin from the bowler. But I think I put a little bit too much on the right side. And now I'm not sure if we should just, yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, I think he played this a bit better than me. The minions are going down. He's got the tower pretty much. I'm debating if I should play a Tesla or just let the crown tower take it down. I'm in kind of a bad position where I didn't do enough damage on the right to really justify a push on that side now. Um, he has a cannon as well. I think we can sneak by the cannon if we play the hog far enough over. Yes, we can. Ah, uh, but he has that tornado. Okay. Unfortunate. Um, we'll go ahead and play the mini P.E.K.K.A. He's going to play the bowler. I'm going to play the lightning, which should uh, freeze things up long enough, but not... Yeah. Guys, I think we might be looking at our first loss of the video here. Um, go ahead and play this defensive Tesla. I need, like, a push to take out the last 1,200 and also defend this right side from getting just wrecked here. Uh, he has the lightning. He's really going full speed, and that tornado can still defend. Uh, yeah, playing the log. Guys, he, he you know, tough deck. Um, he had some tools in his belt to, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll let that other tower go down. Good for him. Uh, he, had, he had some good tools in his, his tool belt uh, to defend against us, so uh, we'll take that loss. Um, yeah, could have, could have defended a bit more cleaner at the beginning, um, but... The bowler is a bit tough for this deck because the Mega Knight can't do enough damage to take it out quickly, and the mini P.E.K.K.A. gets pushed around by it a lot. If only I had the big P.E.K.K.A., but, you know, 7 Elixir is, is a lot for another troop. Well, there it is, guys. That's going to be part one of the video, and then I think maybe in part two we'll try to finish this challenge. Going to wrap it up here, though. First video back. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Drop a like. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you hopefully in part two of this little Clash Royale uh, video series. Until then, guys, bisect the turn out. See ya.